Uh, Gig Harbour got its name in 1841 when Captain Charles Wilkes was exploring this area and his other captain, Captain Ring, Ring Gold, Ring Gold, sent in a gig, which is a small, fast ship that, um, that they use for quicker stuff, came in. So it's named after that gig that Captain Ringgold's men came in. And uh, then 26 years later, three fishermen came and settled here. Uh, and it built up from there into this delightful harbour. It really is very peaceful here. I'm currently in front of the net shed. Uh, inside the net shed, they kept nets. And that's, that house over there is a fishing house. Fisherman's house. And this big green behind us with a Christmas tree on it is where they would lay the nets out to repair them. And now it's got a Christmas tree on it. This, this is not a working netting shed. There are other ones that do work, but another one has been converted into a lovely clubhouse. So uh, yeah, it's a nice place. Over here is Seattle. Here is the opening to the harbour. It's only 100 feet across, did you say? Yeah. The fact that it's so narrow uh, means that it's very sheltered, which is why it's an attractive harbour for prospective moorers. Ah, Gig Harbour. Beautiful, peaceful place. <sighs> um, so I'm standing in front of the hammering man. No one really knows why he's hammering, or what he's hammering, but all I know is he's gonna need to get a bit more speed up if he wants to actually hammer, because <laughs> it's gonna do nothing. So we're outside the market um, and it's on three different levels, but uh, you don't even know that you're on a road. When you come out, you are though. So we'll find that out. Would you like to nibble on my hot Italian Vesuvius? Be careful, it might erupt in your mouth. Or maybe prefer a bit of my English banger. Banger! Can't come to Seattle and not have a piping hot coffee. Um, I don't normally drink it, so I don't know what's going to happen. This is the first Starbucks in the world. If everyone played with as much heart and passion as Piano Man, there would be no war. There would be no death. Play on Piano Man. Play on. At the fish market, it's crazy because they you can choose what you want at the front and then the man wraps it up and he throws it to the guy at the back who weighs it. It's exciting. Wow, 
Wow! We're currently in front of the Seattle Space Needle, <laughs> which was built in the 1960s as part of the World Trade Fair celebrations. Something. Uh, it was built to um, inject space with rainbows and fresh beats to combat global warming. Fingers crossed. Wow. And we turn 50 in about five months to celebrate. Right. The Space Needle turns 50, and we're doing a big celebration by giving away a bunch of prizes. You can go to our website, sign up, and learn more. The grand prize we're giving away is by far our Space Needle. How do we earn prize. a prize? It's going to be a trip into outer space itself. Right now, you guys are looking out towards the north. You can see Queen Anne Hill. To the right of that is Lake Union. And when you're at the top, if you want to learn about what you see, use the interactive screens we've posted all around. If you had your picture taken, you can email that for free using the computers around to the right. Here you guys are. Take your time and enjoy. Thank you. Sparkly balls. Dance by my sparkly balls. Please sit down and buy my sparkly balls. Yes, caress my sparkly balls. Thank you. When I was a teenager, I used to spend hours poring over the Archie McPhee website and imagining all the delightful things I could buy. I've just been in there! <laughs> Thanks for all the music, John. We're currently outside the Safeco field uh, in Washington. No, yeah, Washington in Seattle. And behind me are literally hundreds, if not thousands, of drunk people. Um, because today is Apple Cup. Wow! Wow! Oh, here! Go, dogs! Yeah! I'm supporting Huskies today. Uh, and I don't know much about American football. It's Huskies versus Cougars. I do know how to get drunk, so I'm going to do that, and hopefully the rest will follow. Cheers. Say something. Hi, go go dogs. Go dogs. Go dogs. Go dogs. Go dogs. Yeah, there you go. Right. Go Cougs. Yeah. 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 That's what you need. Go Huskies right there, baby. Go Huskies. Say something. Whoa. Go dogs. Go dogs. Woo. Yeah. Say something. Hey, go dogs. Go dogs. Go dogs. Say something. What's up? Go Say something. Go Cougs. <laughs> Go Cougs! Woo! Woo! Uh -huh. This guy right here, fucking terrible with his red beard. And, yeah, I don't say yeah, bad. Go, Go Huskies! Like, do you like knitting? Okay, so I've been enjoying the game for a while. Like I said before, I'm good at getting drunk, not at football. So I've done, I've done fine at that part. I don't have a clue what's going on. I don't know who's winning. Apparently, Huskies. Go Huskies. Oh, no. Why, why do you let them put their hat on? This guy doesn't agree with me. No. But, uh, 